I've owned it a while now and I know it's left hand drive and I still try to get in the wrong side every time. Because if I miss that train, the next one is a rail replacement bus. And that would be a world of pain. The council have been out and changed the bins. Now, <laughs> I think I took my flip flops off very close to the bin that's just there because I was filming the car that was over there. I need to get sponsored by a barefoot shoe company, really, don't I? Especially after this video. Oh, it's got a huge engine, not all that much power, and no brakes. Yep. So, yep. I've taken a deposit from a gentleman. Um, the gentleman asked me to deliver it, so we agreed a price based on that. Uh, slight problem. I thought I was delivering it to Liverpool. But when he wrote live well, when he wrote the address, I saw Liverpool, but he actually wrote Newcastle which is quite a long way further than Liverpool. So tomorrow, I'm gonna get up at three or four o'clock in the morning to drive this car 257 miles, five hours to Newcastle, not Liverpool. Morning. I've come up with a great new way to road test cars. What you do is you set off at one o'clock in the morning, and you drive 250 miles. I mean, if that's not a way to get to know a car, I don't know what is. So I'm going to let you guys go back to sleep and I'm going to get some miles beneath my belt. And when we stop for the first coffee, I'll check in again. It's a good looking car, that, isn't it? One pound eighty a litre. So I'm only putting 30 quid in here. We'll see how much further we can get. That might just about get us home. But it is a good looking car. I like my Sebring. I've owned it a while now and I know it's left hand drive and I still try to get in the wrong side every time. What a lovely car to drive. I know there's these tires that it's on and the fact that it's a big soft American car, um, but for schlapping over long distances late at night, it's just, it's a lovely thing. It just ambles along, um, sits beautifully at sort of 65 70 miles an hour is quite happy going faster i'm so comfortable i've got this big seat i've got an armrest in the middle i can lean on the door and get myself right the way over and just relax it's a proper armchair all the reasons that real car people hate this car are what make it a great long distance cruiser you know it was known as a hire car Everybody always hates the hire car. You can't go and hire a car and then come back and say, oh, I hired a car, it was the best thing ever. You have to hate the hire car. But I'm loving this journey in my Sebring. I'm super comfortable. Yesterday, after I spent all that time with the BMW, I was thinking, oh, I wish I was doing this journey in the BMW, but I, I take it all back. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this, um, this sort of long distance run. And I've done the lion's share of the journey. There's 100 miles left to go. I've done 160. Um, yeah, 30 miles to the gallon. I'm going to top off some fuel and get a coffee and then we'll crack on and do the rest. And we are here. I'll tell you some stats um, before we go and have a look at the view and then review the car. So, total mileage driven this morning, 268.5 miles. Um, that gave me, temperature right now is 12 degrees. Uh, 31.2 miles to the gallon average with my V6 Chrysler Sebring. Um, I've got 76 miles left, uh, so basically I put in 30 quid earlier on for it. cost me about 70 quid to get up here. Not a cheap car to run, but a lovely car. I'm gonna clear some rubbish out and then I'll do my film. Now, well. the Chrysler Sebring might have been made famous by Michael Scott from The Office, but this is an early one, and I'm gonna tell you why this is the one to have. Doesn't get much more chaotic than this. Um, I've just driven to McDonald's, having done my walk around video around the car, and I'm wearing flip flops today. And I was I was flipping and flopping, so I took my flip flops off when I made the car walk around video, uh, and then drove off. So now I've got no shoes. So I'm going to go barefoot into McDonald's. And after I've had breakfast, I'd never normally go for a McDonald's breakfast, but it's open. It's very early. Um, then I'll go see if I can find my shoes. Flip flops. They'll still be there, won't they? It's fine. <laughs> you could go barefoot on the train home. In the time it took me to eat my breakfast and have a coffee and come back here, 
the council have been out and changed the bins. Now, <laughs> I think I took my flip-flops off very close to the bin that's just there because I was filming the car that was over there. Then I did my car review video. Then I drove off for breakfast. Then the bin men came and took my flip-flops with them in the bin. That was the only shoes I've got with me today. So now I'm gonna have to drive to um, somewhere that sells shoes before I deliver the car, before I get on the train. Because I can't really get on the train barefoot. Probably can, that doesn't really bother me too much. But train stations and stuff. Add that to the price. 60 quid's worth of petrol, 134 pounds worth of train, and a pair of shoes. I left them here. Like I would have taken them off in this spot right now where the car is. And there's a fresh bin bag in that bin. Since when does that ever happen? Must be like the most efficient people ever. And it's not like anyone's found them and put them somewhere. I walked earlier on over to just in front of those bins and I took my flip flops off there because my car was parked here and I was filming it. And in the space of half an hour, my flip flops have gone missing. So I, I'm no longer flip flopping. There's no audio, you know, disturbance on the video from my flip flopping. But at the same time, I don't have any shoes. See, now this is annoying because I don't like buying shoes. And I definitely don't like buying shoes off the cuff. Um, they're expensive. And I don't want to buy something for the sake of it. Because I don't want to buy something that I'll never wear again. So I want to buy something that I actually want. But that is quite tricky. It's probably going to be those, isn't it? At 24 quid. I'll never wear them again. Uh, we'll get some... Cr so they've got the Haviana flip-flops, right? But they're 25 quid in here. I don't pay 25 quid for flip-flops. And then they've got Crocs. But Crocs aren't shoes. Unacceptable. And then you could, I could get some like technical sandals. Like these look. I'm just not sure I'm at the stage in life where I want to be seen wearing technical sandals. They're still just sandals. No man should wear sandals. I'll find a solution. We're going for the Converse replica. I've not had Converse for a very long time. They're a bit narrow. I've got big wide feet, but that'll do for today. Cheapest thing in here is 16 quid. Hunter S. Thompson used to wear Converse low sneakers, but they gave him a really bad back over like a lifetime of wearing very unsupportive shoes. I'm a bit of a barefoot person. My wife is an advocate for barefoot shoes, but they're very expensive. I need to get sponsored by a barefoot shoe company, really, don't I? Especially after this video. We got shoes. Shocking. They're all right, actually. Right, mission accomplished. Knock off Converse, 16 quid. Now, I've got to deliver this car to the buyer and I've got to get on that train. Because if I miss that train, the next one is a rail replacement bus and that would be a world of pain. That's the last thing you want, isn't it? A rail replacement bus for a five hour journey. Get that for a laugh. Now the gent who's buying the car either owns or works at a car dealership. I think he said he had three franchises. At which point I should have said, sorry, the price of the car just went up. Oh man, what a day, what a day. 
That's kind of yeah, what, what a long day you've had. Oh, mate, I don't mind. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Well, and it, it adds to the YouTube adventure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Nice all to right? meet you, man. Do you want a quick right, comment? Gents? Or are you all right? We better get going. Aye, and how yeah. come times you train? 9.55. Right, I, I've got the Jason's on standby, ready to fly you across the Morpeth, because he's- 1,700 quid hat in a free car. <laughs> yeah, another big <laughs> fat American. Another big fat American. <laughs> cool, what do you think of your Sebring? Fantastic, exactly what I wanted. Brilliant. Absolutely perfect, as described. Yep. I uh, haven't driven it yet, but it'll drive perfect. If it's come all the way, <laughs> Where it's come from through the night, it'll be fine for now. It, it's like any American car. It's got a huge engine, not all that much power, and no brakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, I should get. Uh, I, I'd, love, I'd love to stay and talk cars, but I'm gonna have to get going. The guys, they're all watching. Look, <laughs> are, you, are you busy at the minute on sales? It's all right. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. Not it's complaining. Right. September to the new rich plate. Yeah. Um. So we had quite a few things go, but with all world supply issues, cars are still a bit difficult to get a hold of. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, no, it's all right. On a whole, it's okay. Cool. It's okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for making the, the sale easy, and I'm going to get out of here. No In my new shoes. I, like, I hope you like your new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> concludes, that concludes my morning. I got a lift in a new 408, which is cool, but it ain't 40 grand cool. Um, right, Sebring gone. New shoes on. Train arriving. Editing time. Thank you very much for watching this probably rather haphazard video. Um, hopefully this is the end of the adventure and the train just gets me straight home. But if there's lots more to come on this video, then you'll know that that hasn't happened. <laughs> Cheers. Just had one of those British transport police messages come up at the station. If you see something that doesn't look right, report it. I've seen a guy wearing Crocs and I've seen a guy wearing tactical sandals. Who do I report that to?